Less than a week after arriving from Qatar on January 25, Emil can finally go home to Bacolod. He underwent RT-PCR testing upon arrival, then another swab test in his quarantine facility in Pasay City. Both tests came out negative. Okay lang naman sir, para secure naman kami, para, ano naman sir, para sa kapakanan naman namin po yan sir, tsaka sa, ano, sir, sa ibang tao. Naman. Like him, Sahara, who arrived from Saudi, only went in quarantine for three days. Ba't ang bilis ng quarantine ninyo? Ano sabi sa inyo? Kasi negative po eh. Ah, negative kasi yung sabi ninyo? Kung, okay. Opo, kung negative po, saglit lang po yung quarantine. But protocols have now changed for those coming from abroad. Beginning today, incoming travelers will have to stay in their quarantine hotels for at least seven nights. They don't have to go through RT-PCR tests upon arrival. Instead, it will be done in their respective hotels six days after arrival. If they test negative, they can continue their isolation at home or at their locality's facilities. Those who test positive will be assisted by the health department. Meron pa rin tayong mga help desks uh, for the other uh, queries and requirements of uh, our uh, returning overseas Filipinos. Tapos tayo pa rin naman ang magbibigay ng mga hotel assignments at uh, through our OSS, yung pag-provide ng mga transportation sa hotel. Restrictions have also been eased for foreigners. Previously, those coming from countries with the British variant are barred entry, but the Bureau of Immigration has now made exemptions. Diplomats, investors, employees of multinational companies, permanent residents, spouses of Philippine passport holders, and Filipinos who hold foreign passports will be allowed entry. Health experts warn the move comes with risks. Well, we support what the government's decision is. Uh, at the same time, we are aware na it carries some risk. Of course, we all are also aware na we can't have a travel ban forever, especially sa mga returning Filipinos. Speaking to One News on Sunday, Health Undersecretary Rosario Vergere said that this was part of their discussion with the IATF. We cannot remain to be in lockdown forever and closing our doors to travelers. We need to make sure that all travelers coming in the country would complete their 14-day quarantine. The Bureau of Immigration is bound to deport some foreigners who showed fake accommodation documents. Yung mga foreign nationals po ay babalik po sa, de sa Bureau of Immigration para po sa deportation proceedings, para po meron tayong um, punitive action. The Office for Transportation Security says the public may expect more changes in protocols and procedures. For News 5, Gerard de la Peña, we are One News.